Hi there. This Unreasonable Labs video tutorial will walk you through F6S, which is the online application software that we are providing to you as the lab team to help you manage applications. Let's get started. F6S is a free online application software that is used by thousands of accelerators and incubators all over the world. We have partnered with them for Unreasonable Labs so that we have a dedicated landing page up here, f6s.com backslash unreasonable labs. On this page, all of the labs in every country around the world will have links to their own applications. So let's say, for example, that you were going to run a lab in Japan. We'll scroll down here and we'll pull up the Japan lab page. Okay. On this page, there are a couple of things I want to point out to you. And it's important to note that you as the lab team will be the ones who are building out and editing this page. We at Unreasonable Headquarters are very happy to help you, but this is your page to own. So F6S has a couple of primary features to it. It has an About tab here, and the About tab basically is a brief description of what your accelerator is. So you can put that here. You also have your own website on unreasonablelabs.org. There is a discussion group, uh, discussion tab, so entrepreneurs are able to um, ask questions to the organizers, and if people were to post something on here, you would get a message as the administrator on the account. And most importantly, there's the application itself. The application itself is pre-filled in by us at Unreasonable Headquarters, and it's simply up to you to edit our pre-filled application and make changes to the application questions. We put in questions that we have used for years and that are very effective for the labs that you'll be running, but again, it'll be up to you to adapt this. Maybe there are some questions that don't work in your cultural context. Maybe you need to translate it, as you'll see below, and I'll show you how to do that. So as an entrepreneur who comes to this page to apply for your program, they will come to this application tab. And here you can see that the lab team in Japan has translated the lab from English into Japanese. And so what they have done is they've gone into the back end of this and they've changed around the questions um, to reflect the specifics of their lab in Japan. So as an entrepreneur, they would go through and fill out these questions. And now, now I can show you how to go in and edit these questions and tweak things around in the back end. Okay? So when you're at your home page, once you log into F6S, you will have administrator privileges for your lab. And that means you can go into the back end and edit. So over here you have this edit tab. And this pulls up your basic information. This basic info page shows you everything about the details, the name, the URL, tags, the city that you're located in. You have profile settings, which are pretty, pretty standard. Um, and down here, you can see on the left-hand side over here, you have the application. So the application um, includes things like the dates and times when the application is open. So make sure that you specify when you want to have the application open. Um, make sure you have the time zone. And then um, you'll have... At, you can select or choose your evaluation settings. You can have a rating system like stars or thumbs up or thumbs down or number of stars or different ways that you can customize it. We are pre-filling in default settings here, but you can update them if you'd like. Then here are the application questions. So these are all the applications. You can go in and edit them, delete questions, move questions up or down if you'd like, uh, and this will be yours to change. We welcome changing questions if you'd like to, um, but you're also welcome to use our questions. The key when it comes to selection is to ask questions that will help you make decisions as to whether or not you want to advance an entrepreneur um, and to choose them eventually. Okay, great. So once you've completed the application and once you've updated the time the application will be open, you also can specify who on your team has access to be an evaluator, which simply means that they will be the ones that once applications are submitted can review applications and determine who advances to the next round and who gets rejected. 
So here you can see that there are two evaluators for the Japan team. You can add more people here if you would like. So once you have set the evaluators, you now have a chance, and once applications are closed, to go in and actually review applications. So what you'll do is you'll click this F success button up here on the left, and that takes you simply to your dashboard. Your dashboard will show you the uh, application that you are able to review. Um, and so what it'll do is it will pull up all of the entrepreneur submissions that you can see here for your application once it's been closed. Um, and these entrepreneur submissions are simply completed applications. And what we've done is we've already assigned people of those two evaluators to one or two of one of the applications. Um, but it will be up to you to assign an evaluator to each application, depending on how many you have. Um, and then for them, they can go in and review an application. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the application and see how it looks inside. So here's an application. This is actually not from the Japan lab. This is from our Colorado lab, but I'm just showing you um, the evaluator function because I am able to uh, have access to the evaluator side um, for the Colorado lab. So in this application, you can see the two people who fill out the application here. You can see the answers to their questions down here, and it gets, gets into longer answers as they go. Um, and the, over here on the right, you can see criteria for selection. So fit, impact, scalability, overall. These will be pre-filled uh, into your evaluation dashboard, but you can change it around if you'd like. Um, then down here, there's a couple notes. We made some notes on analyzing this application uh, so that when we did interview them, we had a couple of thoughts. So that is a brief overview of how you as a reviewer, as an evaluator, can come in here and provide, provide these comments. You can change around the scores if you'd like um, and update your comments as well. Okay, so that is F-Success at a high level. If you have questions for us, please feel free to reach out to us via Slack, the online communication tool. Um, that's the best way to connect with us. We're happy to either jump into F-Success with you uh, or, or coach you through problems, but it's quite simple and straightforward, and, and many, many organizers like you um, have been able to post their applications and also review them online. All right, talk to you soon.